The history of physics, of course, has been one symmetry after another. We have been always amazed to find just how one can understand the laws of physics d deeper and deeper by just looking at how things can be symmetrical in different ways. And, and the mathematicians very often have led the way by inventing symmetries before we discover them in nature. Yeah. I don't try to explain beauty, and, and you can say some things contribute to beauty, first of all, to be simple in some sense, but not too simple. It has to have some sort of strangeness in the proportion, which is a favorite phrase of ours, and, and that's um, this characteristic of beauty. It's a little bit the same with human beings. I mean, it is a fact that we find people beautiful whose bodies are symmetrical, more or less, left and right, that the right ear is more or less the same shape as the left ear, and the right leg is the same length as the left leg. So we like people to be symmetrical, but not too symmetrical. Yeah. If, if somebody is exactly symmetrical, then somehow it isn't so beautiful anymore. And I'm interested in exploring more than understanding, you might say. that, that uh, and when you're exploring, you're looking for irregularities, you're looking uh, for new things that weren't seen before. So symmetry is not what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> when you try to explain things, then symmetry becomes important. And the science is part exploring and part explaining. <laughs> I think the two are more or less equally important. And need to be done recursively. Yes, indeed. So you might say the frogs mostly are doing the exploring and the birds are doing the explaining. And the, the birds and Frogs are, are part of the same ecosystem. Yes, <laughs> that's a good metaphor.